Good morning. We have come up with a very spontaneous little plan. Um, we are going to York today. Mike's just going to have a quick shower and then we'll pop her in the car. It's time for her sleep, so hopefully she'll sleep up until we get there. It's about an hour's drive. And then we'll have a bit of a look around York. Also, I've changed the room, so her room now is my office. And she's got a bigger room. I'll show you. Now, also, Izzy hasn't just got a new room, she's also got new skills. She has started to do lots of new things. She's now nine and a half months old. And um, she's mastered a few things. Also, she's got teeth. Two down the bottom, two up the top, with a big tooth gap in the middle. <laughs> she can now uh, crawl and stand and walk along furniture and obviously sit really well. And Izzy's also learned to clap. Can you do clap? Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, clever girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so things have been going pretty well. As I said, Izzy's been developing very, very nicely. My parents, obviously, they have left. Um, and it was, it was actually quite sad. Like, it's always sad when they leave, but um, yeah, this time around, it was also because of Izzy, and they were actually a big help to me, you know, when they were here. Look, can I hang this? I need to hang it. And we, um, started to hang out at playgrounds now because Izzy's a bit older and um, can move a bit we um, started to go to them and it's so much fun she's actually enjoying a few things So whilst Mark's having a shower, I'm going to get everything organised for little Lizzie and ourselves. Um, lunch and that sort of stuff, so we've got everything we need when we're there. Like little muffins from my friend Hannah. She made some little baby muffins. Banana. Some strawberries. We'll take this. Carrots, lentils and cheddar. Mark's also pretty keen on teaching Izzy some piano. So in her playpen, <laughs> look, she's got a massive keyboard, which um, she just rocks up to and plays a bit sometimes. <laughs> but also, Mark's been um, actually putting on a big piano. It's so cute to see them. It, seeing these two together in general is really cute to me. Thank you. 
It's mum. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> it's my turn. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> mum. That's how you do it. Bella's happy to be out of the seat and since we have her, like the first stop's always going to be some sort of park or <laughs> something she can crawl around. Even though Mark and I were starving. The main reason I'm starving is because by taking Isabella to all kinds of playgrounds and stuff, I keep getting like stomach problems and stuff, <laughs> diseases from dirty children. Aww. And now, you're I'm not running. one of them. You're not one of them. So yesterday I almost didn't eat anything. Yeah. I did, I'm still starving. <laughs> Weird stuff happening here in York. They have um, built little animal sculptures out of straw. So you've got a turtle there. And up here I think there's a fish. It's the fish here. I wonder if you can get in. Oh, Isabella. We're in the fish, turn around. Show me little Izzy's face. Where are you? Are you inside the fish? <laughs> so what are your thoughts on your mark? <laughs> oh look. It was your idea. The necessities of life are here. Look, I just started saying stuff. Mostly to be funny. <laughs> and now here I am. To Hang Jules on, Izzy is cafe. eating bark here. Don't eat the bark. Well, they've made a massive mistake. Actually, she's biting bits off. <laughs> yeah, giant bilby. So we have just been to a little cafe, the Mills Cafe. It's quite nice as you had a little bit of a run around, but not enough. So um, I'm going for a little stroll through the town. And then, still trying to convince Mark to go up my brand. Yes, he's climbing up the stairs to Mount Brown. Go on, Izzy. Go to Dad. Good girl. Go to Dad. We have made it up to Mount Brown, haven't we? Yes, you climbed it yourself. And there's a big wide view behind us. And over the other side, I'll show you in a second, there's York. We'll turn around and you can see York behind us. There it is. Yep. I know you've done your part. It's not fair. What I wanted to also tell you is that Mark, Izzy and I have planned and booked our next trip and it's going to be a very very long one. We're going for six months and um, because of Izzy of course we're going home to Germany and um, Poland. So we're going to be in Wrocław. We've rented a place there for a little bit and we're going to be in my parents place in Chemnitz and in Leipzig we're going to be in Krakow we rented another place there for a month and we are going to be in Dresden for two and a half months rented a place there too so we'll be out and about Izzy will get to know all of my family Mark can learn a bit more Polish and 
and um, we will have an endless summer this year. Finally! There they are. Are you excited? It's a nod from Izzy. What about you, Mike? Not really. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm very worried about it all. Oh. Do the big plane trip. Yeah, the plane trip. Yeah, there, the weather might still be a bit cold. Mm. It'll be fine. It's his first birthday, we'll be there. Mm. So I should be turning one um, on the 16th of April. And we will be flying out on the 1st of April. And we'll be back by the mid-September. Mid we'll be back in Australia. Anyway, we better get going now, little Izzy. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Izzy, is it better? Hi! <laughs> Where are you? We're gonna go back home. <sighs> Sleepy time for Izzy in the car, hopefully. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Cheers! This is how Dad carries the baby when he's lazy. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, because Izzy loves it. It'll be alright.